just walking through the airport. Yeah, it's, uh, it's cool. I mean, she just wants a little Just cool. walking through the airport. Show people what freedom looks like. Smiling. Sporting my Let's Go Brandon t-shirt. PBI International Airport. This is what freedom looks like. This is not what freedom looks like. This is what programming looks like. People can walk. People are going to cover their faces to walk. But when they're eating, they can all of a sudden take their mask off. It's nonsense, people. Let's go, Brandon. It is nonsense. Show some freedom. Defy these tyrannical, unconstitutional mandates when you travel. People always say, you really walk around the airport with no mask on? How do you do that? Like this. <laughs> That's how you do it, friends. Man, what an amazing night last night at Mar-a-Lago. Are you kidding me? With President Trump? Oh, yeah. It was fun. It was a blast. And I'll be with him again December 3rd. I'll put that in my story. If you haven't watched it yet, check it out. So this is what walking through the airport looks like, friends. I even passed a police officer earlier. Didn't say nothing. Didn't say nothing. Well, when you're Meanwhile, the... you got everybody else. Whoo! Missed it. Everybody else. Little kids. Programmed. Just restricted. No freedom. Hello. Like, okay. how are you? Okay, my, I'm live right my now on Instagram. And I are like <laughs> your biggest fan. Oh, thank you and so much. And he just told me because you walked by me, yeah. and I said, "Oh my God, it was David Harris." Oh, nice. And he's like, "What's your he, name?" I'm Nikki Stevens. Nikki, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Yeah. Go I'm just Brandon. showing people what it looks like. It, it's it's pretty bad. My brother. Harassing. Just I like am harassing folks in the airport. Hogan Gidley, my man. How are you? Up? How you doing? I'm just showing. I'm just showing folks what freedom looks like. Yeah. Walking through the airport, no mask on. That's right. Wait for somebody to say I, something. I, Nobody I, says nothing. It's kind of bad. I have one around my. Uh, it's all right. But it's okay. We're programmed. No. We've been programmed. Don't you like it? Out? Some of the folks in the media. I am a full Republican. So. I know. I like? know. That's the problem. Is there's so many. Hardcore Republicans, conservatives, who just wear the mask. Now I admit, they normally won't let me on the plane until I put it on, <laughs> right? So I put it on to get on, and then I'm eating something, I'm drinking water, I'm doing something to keep it off. I'll, I'll eat like a cheese it. I'll take like nine bites of a cheese it. <laughs> just one little, one little individual. Well, I was so like sitting over there because I'm going to Newark. Yeah. And I heard the other flight on the other side, and the guy was like, "Listen, I'm not going to tell you one more time." If your mask is not pulled up over your nose oh, and under your chin, he goes, we're going to have a problem. And I'm just like... It's insane. It's, it's insane. Me, I think the best one is they say, you're not allowed to smoke in the airport, <laughs> but you're also not allowed to breathe, like, fresh air because, you know. Yeah. But well, I live in so Wellington. What do you say, Hope? It's so important you have to wear the mask until you want a bite of a cookie. And then you don't right. wear a mask. So yeah. how does that make any sense? It just doesn't make any sense. No, it doesn't. Like, I was walking by the people sitting eating, and they're, like, this tall with no mask on. And apparently that's okay. Got, no, 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 but if you're COVID. walking. That's because COVID is. It, it's oh, it travels height. up here. Yeah, yeah. But it travels here. up so here. You're in a it restaurant. Does. We've noticed sitting that. Down, yeah. Like, it, it the people travel. sitting down, yeah. you know, they're, they're eating and whatever. Right. But as soon as they get up to, like, you know, leave. It's insane. It's like, it's like this. We got to stop it. We got to stop it. We need a revolution. We need a revolution of people walking, showing them what freedom looks like. Show your faces. Just show it's your true. face. It takes away who you actually look like. Exactly. It does. So, I am so excited to oh, meet you. Well, thank you. I was nice like, to meet you too. Oh my God. God bless you. Tell <laughs> you your too. husband I say hello. Where are you heading I off will. to, Hogan? I'm going to Philadelphia. Bye -bye. See you later. I'm going to Philadelphia. I'm going to have Hogan on my show next week. That's right. He is leading the charge to fight election integrity issues 
which I hear there was a lot rampant in Virginia. I'm telling you, we won, but there is so much going on over there that no one knows about. We had to stop ahead of time, and I can't wait to come on and tell folks about it. Yeah. Trying to get seasonal guest workers to count votes in Virginia, which is against the law. They, will they not try anything? Everything. They'll try everything. It's just all about power, man. That's what they want. And you were behind the scenes. Hogan, if you don't know Hogan Gidley, you got to follow him. He was behind the scenes. He was on Trump's team in the White House for how many years? Three. And then Three on the years. And with the and with Trump on the campaign. Was was last night amazing or what? Oh my gosh, he was on fire. Everyone was excited to be at, at uh, the American First Policy Institute yep. gala, and it looked good. You, you looked sharp. You should. Yeah, you, you should have seen him. <laughs> I know he's going to post some pictures. You got to see this. You got to see did. this guy. Looking good, but it was a good time and for a good cause, and we're trying to get get uh, the world right with uh, some good policies out yep. there. You know, we're going to do it, it. It matters. People can feel those policies. You yeah. know, the media, ninety three percent of that news coverage on Trump is negative. Yep, and, and now so it's all people, coming out. Well, well, but all the people who hated him, it's manufactured by the media. Yeah, right. 100%. Now you're seeing everyone who loves Joe Biden in the media. They can't cover up for how bad the policy no. is. So the hatred for for those policies. That's real. Yeah. Because everyone feels how negatively it's affecting their families. Everybody's feeling it right now. It's an sh- absolute shame. It's a disgrace. We've got law enforcement officers, nurses. I just posted a, a post from a nurse that had to put up her shoes and her badge after serving for 12 years hmm. faithfully, long hours. Uh, during COVID, ha- she shared that she had a miscarriage and then she had to go oh. comfort another lady that had just. Uh, had a baby and it was just she worked all through that and now she's getting kicked to the curb it's a disgrace and joe biden is complicit without masks without 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 a vaccine those people were heroes just a year ago now all of a sudden they're getting fired they're garbage yeah they're garbage treated like garbage that's right it's a disgrace well hogan you keep doing what you're doing man we'll see you around it's good Uh, seeing you i'll see you next week yeah next week love you brother tell everyone keep at it keep fighting out there thanks brother all right now see, if I had a mask on, he had a mask on, I wouldn't even know who he was. So just hold it down, represent, and wear your Let's Go Brandon t-shirt when you can. Let me get a chant. Let's go Brandon. Let's go Brandon. <laughs> I said, I like it. Let's go Brandon. Let's go Brandon. 